Have you ever wondered what happens when someone in England visits the World Science Festival's webpage? First, their computer needs to ask the World Science Festival server for a copy of that webpage. The computer sticks this request into a virtual envelope called a packet, wrapped with specific information about that request, including the World Science Festival's IP address. The computer sends this packet out of the house and below the street via large underground copper wires. It passes through small regional networks before ending up here at Telehouse North in London. Telehouse North is England's main internet hub. The IP address on this packet tells the hub that the World Science Festival server is actually in Los Angeles. So Telehouse North sends the packet out as light across the Atlantic, over fiber optic cables buried deep beneath the ocean. The packet ends up here, 60 Hudson Street, New York City, the largest internet hub on the East Coast. This hub sends the packet through a series of regional networks connecting New York to Los Angeles where the World Science Festival server resides. The server reads the request and gets ready to send the web page to England. But web pages made up of images and text are too large to send as a single packet of data. So how do we get it back to England? Imagine a group of 5,000 tourists visiting New York City in a single gigantic tour bus. They are way up in Harlem, but they want to visit the Statue of Liberty before it closes. But it's rush hour, on a Friday. There's no way that giant bus is going to fit through those crazy congested streets. So they decide to get off the bus and spread out. Some take the subway, some take cabs, a few rent bikes, and some even take kayaks down the Hudson River. How they get there doesn't matter, as long as they get there on time. Likewise, for the internet to work efficiently, this web page is pulverized into thousands of tiny packets of data, each one wrapped with all of the information it needs to rebuild itself in England. The packets are sent to LA's One Wilshire hub, which checks the traffic report before sending them off. Through miles and miles of land they travel, checking in through different hubs. Like our New York City tourists, those packets don't care how they get there, as long as they get there as fast as possible. Most of them will go through 60 Hudson in New York, where they are redirected back to England as light, riding a fiber of glass as thick as a silver dollar. Then back on copper wire, through regional British networks, until all the packets reach their destination and... And this epic journey? It all happens in about a second along with trillions upon trillions of similar journeys that happen each and every day on this remarkable, easy to take for granted, network of networks we call the Internet.